Hi dudes, today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom cool spells. I already did basic spell hacks which allows you to increase the damage, range, cast animation, that sort of thing. But now we're going to make some totally unique stuff. This video is dedicated to this fine gentleman here, my one and only fan. Thanks, dude. So we can use, via a different method, bullet IDs, but this is kind of a mixed bag. Not all of them are visible. So instead, we're going to use behavior IDs. All of these are visible to other players. So let's start out by making a turret that shoots javelins. So we're going to start off with Fire Surge. Its cast animation is already set to 23 by default. You can use Divine Pillars if you change the cast animation to 23. The point is we want a bullet that repeats itself. You're going to collapse this, collapse this, collapse this, check this, control G. I already have stuff set up, so ignore my stuff. On your screen, it will actually just be this one. This is the actual fire surge. And you see it just shot 16 times technically, that's how we do a turret, because we're shooting something repeatedly. So you're going to copy this, put it in bullet helper, and all you're going to change is you're going to put 3640 or 3650 right here. Then we're going to control G effect. And shoot it. I actually have a couple spells turned into one here. But you should see over here the one that is your new addition to the fire surge spell. I think it might be this one, we'll see. Effect helper. Yeah, when behavior ID has a value like so, that means it's good, you found the right one. If it says negative one, it's the wrong one. You can't change ones that say negative one. It doesn't work, but if it has something here, then you're good to go. And here's where we're putting our actual desired spell. At first, 3640 will be dragon heads, but we're changing that. So here's where the behavior ID comes into play. I'll copy follower javelin. And let's see how that works. Looks pretty lethal. But maybe you want to make something even cooler. Maybe you want to combine spells. Let's see if we can do that. So let's say, just for an example, I want a big fire explosion with my javelin turret. I don't know if you'd actually want this, but... We're going to go to the bullet finder again. Or, sorry, we're actually going to go to... No, we are going to the bullet finder. My bad. 
and we're going to shoot our spell. Now remember earlier it was just this one. Now you have all these. That's because you're javelins. But, and we want to attach something to our javelins to make two spells in one. So we're going to copy one of these. Go into effect helper. Uh, bullet helper, I mean. And so the first one I use 3640. Or actually, I use 3650. So on this, I want to use 3640. You have to use a different one. Because remember, 3650 is already taken. And again, I already have crap set up. We're just changing it. So same thing we did before. Effect Finder. And I'm going to find the new effect. So we're good, we found it, because this is a non-negative one value. Let's go with very big fire explosion. Are the javelins still going? That's a little bit too big. No, I think that I accidentally used the javelins one. Let's see. Yeah. So, make sure it's the right one. I just messed up there a little bit. So, you can kind of see the javelins going as well. Obviously that spell in particular is dumb, but the point is just how to do it so that you can combine spells and come up with something that's actually cool looking. So 3640 is the effect you're going to be changing, then 3650, doesn't matter the order, and if you want additional stuff on your spells. You can even make three or four spells in one. Try the effect IDs 142020 and this one here. Those are the four or five options I've found so far. I know there are a lot more but I haven't found them yet. So that's how to combine spells and make spells with behavior IDs. It also, it doesn't have to be a turret. So for example, let's say we just wanted a single spell that does not repeat. We'll pick whatever spell we want to combine some sort of effect with. And there we go. You're basically just chaining them together via the special effect ID for shooter variable. And you can also change them to effects so that you don't have to necessarily shoot a bullet to activate these. But that's a lesson for another time maybe. So have fun. Happy hacking. And praise the pig.